Okay, so the question is this. The best way to gain rapport when you lose it. Now, losing rapport is a very interesting thing because there's so many different ways you can lose it. <laughs> okay? Because trust me, I've done them all. Because, you know, I'm <laughs> the one skill I have is pushing my luck. And it blows up in my face. You call all it a the skill? Time. I call that a skill. I'm just saying. <laughs> I don't know. If I'm I saying call it's a skill. A skill. Uh, some I may, people would disagree with you. I may get a lot of disagreement on that, but I'm saying it's a skill. <laughs> all right. So, you know, you can lose rapport, and we have like the rapport troubleshooting guide somewhere. But okay, you can lose rapport by association. Standing next to an asshole will definitely lose your rapport. Okay. <laughs> We had a friend who's no longer a friend, for that reason, who cost us more opportunities because of the way that he was terrible at rapport. Um, you can lose <laughs> rapport uh, by overthinking. Okay, you're so focused and inside your head about what you're, you know, worrying about what you're going to say that you actually lose connection with the person that you're dealing with. Okay, um, there's, uh, you can lose rapport. By saying the wrong thing. Just by saying the wrong thing. You know, you can talk like me and then realize that the people you're talking to are a very nice going, church going family and you completely and totally screwed up. <laughs> you can't. All right. <laughs> you, know, you know, it's like, uh, but the, how do you get it back? Right. Okay. No matter how you've lost it, how well, do you get the it other back? Way, the other way you lose it is by changing your position to a position that they'll reject. Yeah. Okay. And we talk about positioning, we talk about dominant equals subordinate. Okay. But if you go, if you're talking to somebody on an equal level and you, and you go subordinate to them and suddenly you're a seething piece of slug and not worth it, okay, by changing the position and misreading the person, you can definitely lose rapport. Or by becoming too aggressive and too dominant. Oh, yeah. Okay, which is... The way or most, even too confident, believe it or not. Yeah. It's the way that most people lose rapport with, like, you know, most salespeople. Uh, by becoming... When it's time to ask for the order, they turn into... A dick. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's sort of turned into a jerk. That's a technical word. Well, I think it's a medical term. Okay. <laughs> okay. I think mean, everybody understands it's it. It's a medical condition. Yeah, it's a medical condition. <clears throat> <laughs> okay. All so, right, so, getting rapport back. So, how do you how do you do that? All right, so, so you get rapport with someone, you're talking to them, and all of a sudden they get this look on their face. Like it okay, smells so bad. Don't yeah. Don't ever do that. So, <laughs> and, and you notice, okay, I just screwed up. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> Three things that I like to do. So it worked for me. It's it more for me than for Kim. Um, one of the things I'll do is I'll step physically back mm -hmm. a, a, a foot or two, okay? Because I've done something, I want to give them a little bit of physical space, mm -hmm. if that's possible. If you're on the phone, do it anyway, because it actually works over the phone, all right? <clears throat> I shift my position, mm -hmm. okay? And, you know, to, make more, to more equal or maybe even slightly subordinate. Mm -hmm. Slightly subordinate is very then good I'll, a lot I'll of Then I'll backtrack to a point in the conversation that we both actually previously agreed upon. Mm -hmm. All right, so well, I'm adjusting my position. Yeah. Right. No, go ahead. I'm adjusting my position, um, ad uh, adjusting myself physically, and I'm re-referencing something that we actually do already agree on, so I'm not going to get in big trouble. Okay, and there are a couple of other things you can do with that. One, That's what I do. This is what Kim does. And he does, too. I mean, he does all this. We all do all this, blah, 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 blah. It is. So if you're in rapport and you're talking and all of a sudden it goes to crap, right, what do most people actually do? Most people at that point feel a little nervous, desperate, and push harder. Yeah. They actually physically lean in. Yeah, they, they, they lean they in. They physically lean in, get desperate, and, and try intensify. to. And it's like they're latching on like this. Okay, that actually felt kind of creepy. It is creepy. It, is it creepy. feels like that when you do it emotionally, mm -hmm. too. It's like, oh my, no, 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 yeah. no, 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 I need it back. Don't no, leave stop, me. stop. And they actually get that kind of feeling. But I mean, who hasn't experienced that? It's like, no, I just failed. Yeah. We'll do the Darth Vader <coughs> scream. And then. <laughs> Off topic. Yeah. No, not really. But so that's what you most people do. So and then what they you're shift actually their state. yeah, they, they shift desperate. Their, that, that, he's already said that. Oh yeah. They say desperate, mind. needy, and they latch on. And they just push and push and push, and the person pulls and pulls and pulls, and it has the opposite effect. So Tom's actually talking about doing the opposite, right? And he actually pulls back physically. Now that's great. And go slightly subordinate. You're changing your position. Okay. Don't only really think of it as going slightly subordinate or equal. 
if you're equal and you screw up and you pull back, you're going to want to go a little subordinate, mm -hmm. right? So the other things you can do are, one, sometimes you point out the mistake you made. Yeah. I've done that. So I, the, the. This is actually, this is a really good, just off topic for you. Mm -hmm. If you look, if you go to the funnel busting seminar in the gold members area, mm -hmm. a lot of this is covered. It's yeah. really good. So sometimes you point out the mistake. Don't be afraid to apologize. I've mm -hmm. had people do that, refuse it, and it just ticks people off. Don't make excuses for it either, really. Mm, just never run from your mistakes. You it's can apologize. Thing. But so you physically pull back to make sure you're changing your position, whatever it is. Mm -hmm. And you can actually use the objection destroyer. Oh, God, I'm sorry about that. Blue and move it forward. Yeah, the but however destroyer. way, objection destroyer is great to get back in. It moves the fil it moves mm -hmm. the filter out. Um, all great ways to. <laughs> You're looking at me like I'm psycho. All great ways to change the that. report, get it back. Mm -hmm. um, does that answer the question? You, you kind of get it. what we're saying. Okay. <clears throat> Jeremy, does that make sense? And definitely <laughs> do not go expert on them and, like, I'm just going to push this because I've seen people do that as well. Whenever oh, they're we uncomfortable and break rapport, they go expert and try to explain logically why the person should listen, why they should do this. We, we and actually, dear God, everybody hates them. We had we had someone who did that, and every time that it got to where they were losing rapport, they, they, go they, expert would, they would go dominant expert, okay, and then say, well, wait, you just don't understand why I'm right. Oh, oh. no. Number one, you're trying to use logic. Yeah. Number two, you're being a you know, demeaning jerk. Yeah. Okay, and, and and number three, it's just because three helps. So number, it doesn't it work. It just doesn't work. I mean, it just doesn't work. It's just you already have them in a bad mood. Do you listen to experts you don't like or respect? Well, other than me. No, Go with that. Don't tell them you don't <laughs> listen to them. They don't right. want to hear that. But anyway. Right. So, but, so test that so, out. Yeah. Test that out. It's a really good, uh, you know, just, just that little bit alone. Mm -hmm. And then go watch the funnel busting uh, videos. Uh, in the in the gold members area, go, watch those because what happens is as you make mistakes, you get start getting categorized into a funnel, and the, the further down the funnel you, you get, the harder it is to get it. out. So it'll explain a lot about mm -hmm. that. Oops! <laughs> Damn it!